Hi. So we have an example in which we have a problem. So now let's first read the problem statement. The statement says the sides of a triangle are 12 meters, 16 meters and 20 meters. Find the altitude to its longest side. What is altitude? Altitude is actually height. Height when you consider the longest side as base. Right? So if you consider this 20 meter as base, you have to find the height of the triangle. Suppose this is the triangle where this is 12 meters, this is 16 meters and this is 20 meters. So here 20 meters is the longest side and if I draw a perpendicular from this point to this base, that means this angle is 90 degree, then we have to find the length of this white line and this is called altitude or sometimes we also call it height, right? So very clear what we have to find? Yes. And where do we use this height or altitude? We use altitude, that is height and base to find the area of the triangle, right? And what is the formula for the area of the triangle? Area of a triangle is 1 by 2 base multiplied by height. Right? Yes. So we know the value of the base and height we don't know, we have to find. Right? So that means we have to find the area of this triangle using some other method. Right? So now let's first check whether it is a right angle triangle or not. If it is a right angle triangle, the sum of the squares of two sides of the triangle will be equal to the square of the third side. What is this? This is Pythagoras theorem. I think many of you know Pythagoras theorem. In Pythagoras theorem, if a triangle is a right angle triangle, suppose this is the triangle and the length of this side is A and this side as B where this is the right angle and the length of third side is C, then C square is equal to B square plus a square. Right? Definitely the C is the longest side which is exactly opposite to the right angle of the triangle. So let's see if 12 square and 16 square adds up to the square of 20 or not. Square of 20 will be 400. Okay? But let's first find the sum of the squares of other two sides. So if we assume B as 16, and we have to take square of that and then we have to take the square of another side which is A which will be 12 in this case and we have to take the square of this also. So what is the square of 16? The square of 16 is 256 and what is the square of 12? The square of 12 is 144. Right? And if we add these two, what we get? 6 plus 4, 10. 0 over here, 1 carried forward. 1 plus 5, 6 plus 4, 10 again. 1 carried forward. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 1, 4. Right? And what is 400? 400 is actually the square of 20. So the sides which are given to us actually belong to a right angle triangle. And which angle is right angle? The angle between the two smaller sides. So this angle is right angle. And what is the area of a right angle triangle? In case of a right angle triangle, the two sides which are constructing a right angle, one of them can be taken as base and another one can be taken as height. So the area of this triangle will be 1 by 2. If we consider this as base, which is 16, 
then this will be height 12 will be height both of them are actually perpendicular to each other so any one of them can be considered as base and another one will become height automatically so since we have considered 16 as base height of the triangle will be 12 2 1s are 2 2 8s are 16 and 12 8s are 96 96 centimeter square right so this is the area of this triangle but we had to find the altitude if we consider the base as 20 so what we have to do yes in any case the area of this triangle will be same even if we consider this side as base the 20 which is the longest among the sides this will be height and in that case also if we calculate the area the area will be same right so the area if we consider 20 as base will be 1 by 2 multiplied by 20 and height we don't know so I'm going to write height itself and what will be this area this area will be equal to 96 right yes and now if we solve it further 2 ones are 2 2 tens are 20 right and if we divide both the sides by 10 we will get let me write it over here it will be 96 by 10 this will be equal to 10 multiplied by height divided by 10 we have divided both sides by 10 so this 10 and this 10 will get cancelled 96 divided by 10 will be 9.6 and this is equal to the height of the triangle when we consider 20 meter length as base so what is the height height is actually 9.6 meters so this is the solution